to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leave the paths of a brightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths. Our subject this uh, morning is about the way of evil men. The way of evil men. Wisdom, knowledge, discretion, and understanding. Yan ang apat na nakikita natin at sana ay matutunan natin sa pag-aaral na ito sa book of Proverbs. Wisdom, knowledge, discretion, and understanding. These four things provide the discernment and ability to identify the way of an evil man. And so we will be able to avoid its dangers. Kasi ito pong the way of evil men, delikadong landas po na ito ay ating tahaki. So kailangan po natin na maunawa ang mabuti. You see, knowing the way of truth clearly and the danger of friendship with evil men, a wise man is delivered from a destructive lifestyle. May mga lifestyle po kasi talaga na kung hindi tayo iingatan ng Panginoon, talagang masisira po ang buhay natin. Oho. Kaya iwasan po natin ang destructive lifestyle. You see, people can be qualified in two groups always. There are the children of God and the children of the devil. Those who have new hearts with light and life. The other have hearts black and dark as hell. There are wise men and there are foolish men. There are good men and there are evil men. There are gentle men. And I hope ang mga men natin ay talagang laging gentle. But there are also cruel men. There are the elect and also the reprobates. There are born-again men and there are twice-dead men. The line is drawn and we who are believers of Jesus Christ should always shine as lights of the world. So, we should always be able to make a difference as Christian. Hindi po tayo dapat maayon sa takbo ng sanlibutan. Because the way of evil men often gives himself away by his perverse mouth. He contradicts himself, disdains holy things, criticizes authority, belittles others, commends himself, presumes he is always right, promotes vanity, and mocks Christianity. Ito po yung the way of evil men. The way of evil men is difficult to please, unreasonable, ungovernable, disobedient, untrustworthy, and wicked. You see, people who are in this way can be obnoxious and pretentious. Let us further put this in a way that we will better understand. This wicked, evil man. How was he described in the book of Proverbs? Especially from our text. Unang-una, pinakita po sa atin dito, yung mga tao na nasa ganitong tahakin, o yung mga tao na nasa ganitong landas, they speak forward things. Alam nyo, napakalaga sa isang tao yung discretion because it will preserve a person from an ungodly man. It will also preserve the godly men or women from the trouble that comes from speaking forward things. Ano po ba yung mga forward things that an evil man is speaking? Ito po yung mga pananalita na walang regard sa authority. Walang 
pagpapahalaga sa purity. Walang pagbibigay ng uh, respeto sa loyalty. Wala pong wala pong lumalabas sa kanyang bibig kundi puro vanity. Ibig sabihin ng forward mouth ay pervert or perverted or perverse. As a result of the evil thing sa mga kanilang mga sinasabi, much evil arises, conflict, hurt, fightings, you name it. Evil men use their tongues like arrows to pierce others. Parang ang mga sinasabi niya, lumalabas sa kanyang bibig, puro mapanira, mapanakit, mapaghambog, tinggit. Wala eh. Walang pagpapahalaga tayo sa akin. As Christians, we should be careful sa mga lumalabas sa ating bibig. Especially when we're speaking about others. The psalmist prays that God would not allow an evil speaker to be established on the earth. He knows what grief and trouble comes because of evil men speaking forward things. So, because of evil men, friendships are broken, church fellowship are divided. This kind of people would damage any good thing among us. That's why we should not give them our friendship and fellowship. Kailangan po natin ng discretion at discernment to avoid the way of the evil men. Wisdom will dictate to us not to put too much of our time para po spend natin with this kind of people. These people are troublemakers, church dividers, and they don't care much about the feeling of others. Sabi po, the wicked lie in wait. They are looking for chance to hurt others, to tear down, to damage the reputation of another. They're always swift, mabilis, sa paggawa ng mga kalokohan. So mga minamahal, ultimately, yung kanilang pananalita din ang magiging dahilan para sila ay mapahama at sila rin ay masaktan. So it is important that we guard our mouth so we may not be like these people who are in the way of evilness. Let us guard what comes out of our mouth. When we speak, make sure that we speak, sabi nga po, blessing for others. But when you speak, you will not be like an evil man. Na kahit makasakit ka, kahit makapanila ka, kahit makapang insulto ka, ay gagawin mo. Makilala ka lamang at makatanyag ka lamang. That's the way of the evil man. Sabi nga po, the ungodly man digs up evil. He snips it out. If there's some dirt, he will find it and then spread it around. Thus, he is like a fire spreading destruction wherever he goes. He may just say a few words and like a little spark, it can ignite a fire that will destroy the whole forest. Grabe. So, let us remain steadfast in the Lord and avoid the way of evil men. This implies, mga minamahal, that we should be more careful in our Christian life. Let me describe to you this evil man, the way it was written here in the book of Proverbs. Apat na bagay po ang makikita natin sa buhay na, na dapat ay iwasan natin. Number one, his desertion. His desertion. Ang sabi po dyan, mga minamahal, the evil man 
kanya pong iiwanan yung paths of righteousness. Sabi po yan sa Proverbs chapter 2 verse 13, who leave the paths of uprightness. This should tell us one thing. Kung kanya pong iiwanan yung paths of uprightness, that will tell us that there was once a day or time in his life that he was in this path. He was in this path. Pero ang nangyari po, iniwanan niya. Let this be a warning today because this is dangerous. This is the kind of lifestyle na kung saan nandun ka na sa tamang daan, pumunta ka pa sa dating daan ng kapsalanan, ng katampalasanan, ng kalikuan. Nandun ka na sa tanging daan eh. Nandun ka na sa landas na sinasabi ng Panginoon, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Sabi ni Apostle John, If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ's Son cleanses us from all sin. Sabi po mga minamahal, ang isang tao na nasa way of evil men would wander away and leave the path of uprightness and end up in the way of sin. And sin can take you further and further away from the right path. Wisdom and discretion would tell us that we should stay in the way of uprightness. Mahirap po ang landas na tinatahak nitong mga tao ito. They once walked in the light, but then they, they, they deserted that path. Kaya desertion eh. Because they left the way of uprightness. Ang ganda na sana ng kanilang pagsisimula. Pero ang kanilang pagtatapos ang napasama. When we see a believer or a professing believer who profess to know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and in every good work disobedient. Huwag po tayong kumari sa mga ganyan. A professing believer who leaves the path of uprightness to walk in the ways that is disobedient to God should be avoided. Of course, if we can, let us urge them to return. Plead with them to come back. But do not be associated with them. You will both, both stumble. So, nakita po natin mga minamahal mo, pwede pala na nandun na tayo sa daan ng katwira, iiwanan pa natin. I'm not just talking about backsliding. I'm talking about departure from the faith. I'm talking about desertion. Alam nyo, sa digmaan, desertion is a crime. Oho. It's a crime. Pag tumalikod ka sa isang panata, tumalikod ka sa isang pananampalataya, tumalikod ka sa isang paninindigan sa Panginoon, yan po ay isang malaking krimen sa buhay ng kristyano. Kailangan walang talikuran. Kailangan walang aatras, walang tatakbo. Sabi nga po, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Isa pong paalaala sa atin ng Proverbs is that the way of the evil man has desertion tinatalikuran niya, iniiwanan niya yung paths of uprightness. Kaya itong mga taong ito, minsan nakita mo na ito sa churches. Eh. Minsan nakita mo na ito sa mga ministries. Eh. Minsan nakita mo na ito, nag-iling Pero ngayon, 
wala na. Kasi iniwanan niya, pinalipuran niya yung paths of uprightness. Pangalawang bagay na pinakita sa atin dito, not only his desertion, but his darkness. His darkness. Mga minamahal, madilim ang landas na tinatahak ng evil men. Sabi nga po ng ating Panginoong Isus, and this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Alam nyo sa Bible, pag sinabing darkness, that is a lifestyle with no regard for God at all. Wala na talagang pagpapahalag na sa Diyos. Sabi po ni Apostle John, If we walk in the light, As He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. Sabi ng Panginoong Isus, ulitin ko, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So, mula pa sa Old Testament hanggang sa New Testament, binabalaan tayo, sa paglakad sa katiliman. Each of us could have the light of our Lord Jesus Christ. Each of us could be led in the light by our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not walk in darkness. Paano ko malalaman, Pastor, if I'm in darkness or I'm heading to that way? Eh, madali naman eh. Kasi, take for example, sa physical yes syempre if you cannot see anything alam mo darkness yan if you have to grow alam mo darkness yan if you are getting stumbled alam mo darkness yan if you are afraid alam mo darkness yan wala pa yatang taong natakot kasi nasa liwanag siya. Wala pa yatang taong nada pa kasi nasa liwanag siya. Wala pa yatang taong kumakapaka pa kasi nasa liwanag siya. Wala pa yatang taong walang makita kasi nasa liwanag siya. Of course, may mga bulag kaya kahit nasa liwanag, hindi makakita dahil yung darkness nila ay inherit na sa kanilang blindness. But you see, the path that God wanted us to walk on is the path that is very clear with the light of God and with the life that God would want us to live. Huwag sa darkness. Iiwanan mo ang landas ng liwana, lalakad ka sa landas ng katiliman. That's the way of an evil man. Si, ano ba ang kalooban ng Diyos para sa bawat isa sa atin? To, to see the light, walk in the light, and to guide others to the light. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, di ba? You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify God which is in heaven. Huwag tayong pumunta sa katilinan. Manatili tayo sa liwanag ng Panginoon. Pag nasa kadiliman ka, hindi mo nakikita ang itsura mo. Pag nasa kadiliman ka, hindi mo nakikita kung may marumi sa'yo. Pag nasa kadiliman ka, pwede mo itanggi kung ano talaga ang pagkatao mo. Pero sa liwanag, hindi. Expose ka eh. Kita mo kung may dumi ka. Kita mo kung may dapat ayusin sa'yo. Kita mo kung ano ba talaga ang pagkatao mo. So, mas maganda po tayo ay nasa liwanag ng Panginoon. And we can see ourselves clearly. At pwede nating 
ilapit sa Panginoon, ano man ang diferensya sa atin. Pero pagka tayo po'y nasa dilim, mahirap na gawin natin yan. So, the evil man, the way of the evil man, makikita po natin, siya po ay nasa pagtalikod. Siya po ay nasa kadiliman. Pangatlo, nakita natin, bukod sa desertion at darkness sa buhay niya, ito namang mga taong ito, delights in a different way. Let us look at his delight. Alam nyo, sabi ng Bible, tayo mga Kristiyano, dapat may delight tayo. Sabi po sa Psalms chapter 1, ang mga tao na nasa kalooban ng Diyos, his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in His law, do it to meditate day and night. Sabi po, Delight thyself in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. It is very important that you know what is your delight. Ano ba yung ikinasisiya mo? Ano ba yung hinahangad ng puso mo dahil doon ka nasisiyahan? Yung mga nasa landas na tama, they delight in the law of God. They delight in the Lord God. Pero itong mga tao na nasa way of the evil men, iba ang kanilang delight. Sabi po rito, to rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked. When you are in the way of the evil men, ang kasiyahan mo makagawa ng masama. Ang kasiyahan mo ay makapanakit. Ang kasiyahan mo ay yung may matapakan kang tao sa halip na may matulungan kang tao. Ang kasiyahan mo to see others suffer and to see others fall. Dapat hindi tayo ganyan mga Kristiyano. Dapat ang kasiyahan natin makita natin yung mga tao na babagong buhay, na build up sa Panginoon, at nag-ilingkod sa Diyos. Rather than our delight will be for the destruction of our enemies. Sabi nga po, kahit yung mga tao yan ay masasama, at yung mga tao yan ay nagawan tayo ng uh, katampalasanan. Huwag nating ikasiya na sila'y nasasaktan. Huwag nating ikasiya na sila ay mapapahama. Huwag tayong magkaroon ng delight sa masama. Buti nga sa'yo, mamatay ka sana. Huwag ganun. Ayan. Yan. Sige. Paparusahan ka pa. Masama ka kasi. Huwag ganun. The way of the evil, ganun. They delight. Nasisiyahan sila when others are falling. Nasisiyahan sila when people are getting hurt. Huwag po tayong masiyahan. Even sa downfall ng ating enemy. When we see our enemies getting hurt and our enemies falling, we should ask God for mercy for these people na sana ay meron pa chance sa kanila na makakilala sa Panginoon at babago. But the way of the evil man rejoice to do evil and delights in the forwardness of the people. Kung tuwa sila, they are very proud sa kanila mga maling ginagawa. Tingnan mo ko, tingnan mo ko, ganyan ang action nila eh ganyan ang ano uh, nila. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Eh, ikaw eh, naglilingkod ko sa Panginoon, pero anong klaseng buhay meron ka? Huwa kang kawawa. Tingnan mo ko. I'm a self-made man. I don't need God. I can live on my own. I'm the captain of my will. I'm the master of my soul. And I'm happy about it. That's a lie of the devil. That's a lie of the devil. Do not believe it, Christian. Wala hong taong iniwanan ang tamang 
pamumuhay sa Panginoon, namuhay sa dilim, at sasabihin mo, totoong masaya, hindi ho, wala ho, walang ganun. Kung meron ka mang nakikitang kasiyahan sa kanila, ay eh dahil sa sobrang kasamaan na nila, nasisiyahan sila sa pamumuhay na mali. But one day, one day, they will have remorse. One day, they will cry for the worse. Dahil sa hindi ho laging magiging masaya ang buhay ng masama. Yung kanilang, yung kanilang pagpipiesta at pagsiselebrate sa kanilang ginagawang mali, hindi ho yan magtatagal. Dahil sabi nga po ng Panginoon, be sure your sin will find you out. A day of judgment will come and they will regret that they deserted the way that leads to the Lord. So, ano pa po makikita natin dito? Makikita natin His desertion, His delight, His darkness, panghuli po. Makikita po natin na the way of the evil man, makita natin His direction. His direction is totally different from those who are living from God. Ano lagi natin sinasabi dito sa Proverbs? Delight thyself in the Lord and He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge Him and what? And He shall direct thy paths. Yung buhay po nasa Panginoon may direction eh. Pero alam niyo ba yung buhay na malayo sa Panginoon, may direction din. Pare-pareho lang naman eh, na may tinatahak na landas. Ang pagkakaiba, anong landas ang tinatahak mo? Saan ka patungo? Saan ka papunta? At saan ka magtatapos? Siguro sasabihin mo, pabayaan mo ako. Pabayaan mo ako sa gusto ko. Dahil meron din akong tinatahak na landas. Hindi naman ako walang direksyon eh. May direksyon ako. Oo, may direksyon ka. Pero ang tanong, sa direksyon mo? Saan? Kasi the way of evil men, sabi po nito, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths. That's the direction. Crooked and forward. Twisted and perverted. Itong mga taong ito, iniwanan yung tamang daan, iniwanan yung tamang landas, iniwanan yung pamumuhay na dapat sana ay sa Panginoon. Para gawin yung kanilang gustong mga bagay na alam nila maglalayo sa kanila sa Diyos. They don't mind. Ano sabi ng Panginoon sa atin? I will go before you and make every crooked places straight. So ayaw ng Panginoon sa atin. Yung palikulik ng landas. Ang gusto ng Panginoon sa atin, straight. Ang gusto ng Panginoon sa atin, straight tayo sa ating pamumuhay. Hindi yung pa-crooked-crooked tayo. Ayaw nga ng Panginoon yung sala sa lamig at sala sa init. Ayaw ng Panginoon na tayo ay malagihay, lukewarm. Ayaw ng Panginoon na tayo ay inconsistent. Ayaw ng Panginoon na tayo po ay walang commitment to do what is right. Come what may, kesera-sera. Ayaw ng Panginoon ng ganyang pamumuhay. Ang nais ng Panginoon sa atin, anuman ang ating tahakin, basta alam natin na ang Panginoon ang nangunguna sa atin. There might be storms, there might be difficulties, there might be challenges. Sometimes, hindi na tayo halos makatayo 
kailangan na nating lumapang, kailangan na nating talagang harapin itong mga pagsubok sa buhay at kahit na tayo ay hinang hinana at halos gusto na nating sumuko huwag po tayo lilihis ng landas manatili po tayo kung saan tayo ginagabayan ng Diyos huwag mong talikuran sabi nga po train up a child in the way he should go are you listening? We're just talking about children. At kahit bata pa sila, kinaklaro na sa atin ng scripture, there's a way that they should go. Each of us, there's a way that we should go. At habang bata pa, tinitrain na dapat natin sila in the way that they should go. Para saan? Sabi po, train up a child in the way that they should go. ba? Diba? Para sa ganun, sa kanilang paglaki, sabi po, they will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, marami sa inyo, nandiyan na. <laughs> Kasama na ako doon. And when he is old, nandun na tayo eh, we're old. But this is the sad part. That when you grow old, at dapat nag tuturo ka na sa mga mas bata sa iyo, at dapat ay nag aakay ka na sa mga mas bata sa iyo. Sa tamang landas eh hindi pa ganoon ang nangyari. Because what happened is when you grow old, you start to depart from it. How sad. How unfortunate. Lahat po tayo ay hindi perfecto. Lahat po tayo ay may mga halos pagsuko at gusto na natin i-give up yung alam natin ay tama. Pero mga minamahal, by the grace of God, we can continue on in this walk of life. Not in the way of the evil man, but in the way of truth. And what is the way of truth? Sabi po ng ating Panginoong Jesus, John 14.6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Follow the way. The way of the cross. The way of our Lord Jesus Christ. For there is no other way that will keep us safe and will keep us in the right path. Stay lang po tayo sa Panginoon. Kapit lang po tayo sa ating mga pananampalataya. Huwag po tayong lumihis kung kailan tayo ay pagpapalain na, kung kailan po tayo ay nandyan na halos. Sabi nga, meron tayong panahon ng pagkatanim, at meron tayong panahon ng pag-ani. Nakakalungkot sa marami kung kailan aani na sa kapa lumihi, sa kapa lumayo, sa kapa na pariwara. Just stay. Just keep your feet on the ground wherein God has planted you. Do not desert the way of righteousness to go to the way of evil men. You keep delighted in the Lord and in His Word instead of delighting in the sinful, worldly pleasures of this world. Keep your direction towards the Lord. Looking into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. At mga minamahal, pag madilim, iwasan. Pag maliwanag, panatilihan. That's the way that we should take. If you are not yet safe, if you are not yet sure, if Jesus Christ is not yet your Savior, you will die in your sins. 
So I encourage you, right now, while there's hope, while you're still alive, put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He who died for you, He who redeemed mankind from sins, He alone is your hope. He alone can save you from your sins. My dear brethren, let us share this live video. Let others know there's hope in Christ. Let others know they can be sure of their salvation in Christ. Kaya kung ikaw ay nakikinig sa akin ngayon, di ka patiyak sa iyong kaligtasan, saan mo ang puso mo kay Jesus? Anggapin mo siya bilang iyong Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. At sa atin, nananampalataya na sa Panginoon, manatili po tayo sa Kanya. Let us remain steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Don't go to the way of the evil one. Stay in the way of the cross. Salamat po sa inyong pakikinig at sana po tayo po ay patuloy manalangin, sumuporta at kung hindi nyo pa po napuntahan yung ating page, please subscribe sa page ng Hope Goes On. Malaking bagay po yan. God be the glory, tayo po ay uh, magpapasalamat sa mga patuloy po sa ating pakikinig sa salita ng Diyos dito sa Hope Goes On. Hello po sa mga ating uh, hopers na humahabol pa. Thank you po. God bless po. Ayan uh, si uh, Angelina.